the school seems like some people can't even find a school how small it is, but it's one of the most amazing things. It doesn't just put the concept in your mind to be a leader, it makes you a leader. Before I came to Young Women's, I was very distracted. I needed to change my life. This school has it's changed my character, it's changed the way I think of things. Our school was founded in 1999 on these four pillars, academic achievement, career and college preparation, leadership, and personal and social development. So the Young Women's Leadership Charter School is a STEM school. In our mission, we talk about science, technology, and math. The transition from elementary school to high school has been very smooth. I really like the fact that it is a big sister, little sister program going on at the school. It's because you have the support. And it's like when you mess up or you do something wrong, they're always there to help either, either help you fix your mistakes or tell you what you could have done better. Being able to turn to my sister and be like, I need your help, and they not make fun of you, or just because this is a competitive school doesn't mean that when I succeed, you don't succeed too, because when we succeed, we succeed together. If I could tell a girl who was thinking about coming to Young Women's, I would tell her definitely go for it. This school has a lot of opportunities. The teachers are amazing. I really flourished and prospered in math, science, all that, because at, in eighth grade, I wasn't doing my best, but here I got the teach, I have teachers who help me develop and grow and, yeah. I know that if I influence one student's life, then my purpose has been fulfilled and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. When I look into the eyes and the faces of the young leaders that walk these halls every day, I see myself, a kid from the south side of Chicago that grew up in a single family home, uh, that has the support of her family and her teachers that helps to grow her and mature her into the woman that she is today. That's why I'm here, because I want to make sure that these girls of today become our leaders of tomorrow. Once I graduate, I like to major in medical as an orthopedic surgeon. When I go to college, I want to major in biomedical engineering and broadcast. I find it interesting how um, being a doctor who snaps stuff back into place uh, saves lives. I got accepted to the University of Tampa, so I'm going to go to college and study marine biology. I decided to be an anesthesiologist because if you think about it, you if you give the person too much medicine, then they'll be asleep for a while. If you give them too little, then they'll wake up during surgery. And young women, they basically challenge you to exceed that level. Mentorship is very important to a student's development because your mentor is supposed to guide you throughout your high school experience and into your career. Mentorship is very imperative to develop a well-rounded woman because you get to see other women in the place that you want to be in your life. So it gives you something to aspire to. I believe that women should help women because, for example, I was the first person in my family to get a doctoral degree. People cannot believe what they can do until they can see it. Every woman either needs a mentor or a sponsor or somebody in their ear telling them what they can do. Because the world tells girls at the very beginning that we are second to men. That is not cool, it is not appropriate. We can do everything or just about everything that my husband says that men can do. And sometimes we can do it better if you give us the opportunity. So women can really inspire other girls and women to do better if we are willing to look back and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Let me kind of show you the path of what to do so that you can become all that you've been called to be because we want every woman to live out her lived purpose on this earth.